Those living here at Pin Oak Acquisitions tell me they were shocked to wake up to the sound of gunfire and even more so to realize they knew the man that had been shot by police. My fiance woke me up and said, I heard real gunshots. Neighbors woke up around 2.15 Thursday morning after hearing the first gunshot. I watched it all, everything right out my front window. Jacob Herman, who lives on Navajo Court, said he could hear Radcliffe police officers telling a man to drop his weapon. Herman says it looked like the man threw down a knife but kept charging at two officers who then fired, hitting him multiple times. Later he realized he knew the man, a veteran, he says, who completed two tours of duty and recently had been struggling with PTSD. Two nights ago, boarded up his door, screws, nails and everything and thought people were after me. Another neighbor who didn't want to speak on camera says that man kicked his door in early Thursday. There was a physical altercation before he was able to get him out of his apartment and call police. Radcliffe officers were responding to that call of a robbery. He's lived here for about five years and he wouldn't he wouldn't rob anybody. He doesn't you know, he doesn't have a reason to rob anybody. According to Radcliffe police, charges will be filed once the man is released from the hospital. But neighbors say jail isn't the place for him. He's probably not even going to remember this or why it happened. He is, that's how bad it is. He needs help but can't get the right help. That, that's, that's what it comes down to. In Radcliffe, Lauren Adams, WLKY News. And